G'day YouTube, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. My name is Combat Roo, and in today's LSPDFR episode, we're going to be doing an unmarked patrol in the VFSS, as you can tell. And the color of choice tonight is going to be white, even though it looks silver, um, looks like silver at night, but it's actually white color. Um, but yeah, we're just going to patrol around and uh, in this unmarked vehicle, and we're just going to keep an eye out on. Uh, Callouts. Uh, I'm looking for some interesting callouts tonight, and also we're going to be keeping our eye out on traffic um, because people don't know that we're a police vehicle, and uh, we're going to be able to have the upper hand when it comes to dealing with traffic. So, also too, I wanted to test out our Radiance 5 at night, um, and the lights are absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys how the lights look like. And uh, they are pretty bright. Um, let me know if you think they're pretty, pretty bright. Um, I might have to tone down the settings a little bit, but uh, it looks really, really good at night. So it's going to be interesting. But um, yeah, let's get into it, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. We have a possible 148 in Textile City. Respond code two. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take this call anyway. Adam Four, copy. Uh, it's going to be an arrest warrant, apparently, at someone's workplace. Um, we have no intel about possible firearms or possessions by suspect. Alright, so we're going to go... We're going to respond code blue uh, to that. So we get to have a look at how sexy these, these lights look. Actually, whereabouts is it? Okay, so it's going to be over there. Uh, looks like I might have to do a real quick Yui. sound is so cool in the tunnel. <laughs> Looks like it's just going to be around the corner from here. Right, so we're looking for somebody, I guess it's just standing around. It's pretty dark in here. Check on the other side. Right, so I got one person standing. Suspect located. Moving to engage. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be this guy, so we're going to have to make contact with him. Well, let's uh, let's get our sirens on. So, uh, I need you to stop for a second, please. Come here. Stop walking away from me. Right, so let's, uh, let's ask him to use the built-in E key. So, is it going to work this time, or is it not going to work? Freeze! Okay, there we go. So we can ask for his ID now. Gonna let me ask for his ID or what? No, you're not. Can we talk to him? No, we can't. All right, let's just let's just get a uh, records check on this guy. Suspect has an active arrest warrant for armed rob for armed robbery. Okay, so looks like it's him anyway. 
We're gonna go ahead and place him under arrest. Nobody move! Alright, so so uh, you're gonna be coming with me tonight. Uh, we're getting an arrest warrant out for warrant out for your arrest. Four, copy. Code four, Adam. No additional support needed. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take him down to the station ourselves. Get in the damn car. And uh, and then we'll uh, resume our patrol. We have a possible burglary, a silent security alarm triggered in Mirror Park. Units respond code 2. Alright, so we've got reports <coughs> of a uh, another burglary over in Mirror Park this time. So we're going to go ahead and respond code 2 to that. Wow, it's really, really dark over here. So we use the, uh, just the lights, no sirens to get through. Uh, just to get through the traffic lights and stuff like that. our time of arrival a bit more quicker. It looks like it's going to be over in this, off this street here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the lights for now, just so we don't startle the uh, possible burglary. All units, officers have arrived. Alright, so... It's around here somewhere, which is what the lights, ah, not the light, the yellow radius is saying. So let's get our flashlight out Jesus fucking Christ. and go see if anyone's here. I think it might, might be this property, maybe. Let's check out the back. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anyone here. Let's try next door. See if there's anyone walking around. Oh, hello, putty cat. Can't really see anybody or hear anyone. It's got to be inside this this radius here. Except if the cat is the burglar. Burglarily, burglar. I'm going to miss the gallery redemption exhibition again. Oh. Every time a show comes to that place, I want to see. Could possibly be a false alarm, maybe. I don't know. I think that tends to happen sometimes. Yeah, no, I don't have any idea. Um, can't see anybody around here. Yeah, there you go. So sometimes the cause of false alarms. I'm going to go ahead and say that this area is clear and that was a false alarm. So, yeah, there we go. False alarm. Let's end that call out. We are code four. And uh, let's head back out and uh, resume patrol. available East Los Santos unit. We have a possible domestic disturbance in Mirror Park. Alright, so I'm going to take that course since we're um, right here. It's going to be a domestic disturbance. Uh, the caller One, Lincoln, is a AT, male. Respond code two. So we're going to go code blue, not code two, code blue. 
Uh, sounded like the male was emotionally unstable. Okay, 32 year old male. Domestic disturbance, get along with those a lot of the time. Hopefully we can resolve it. Looks like it's gonna be in here. As always, let's uh, let's get some attention all units. Backup here. needed in Mirror Park. Just to help us out, make sure nothing goes wrong. All right, sir. Uh, this is the caller. What seems to be the problem today? Uh, it's really nothing. I'm so I'm sorry to have troubled troubled you. All right. So the caller is saying he shouldn't have caught us, which is a bit weird. Can we talk to you? Uh, who's this? Hey, 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 Ashi Nakanashima. Calling unit one out of twelve. That's uh. Ten four, copy that. Bitch was nagging me, so I hit the bitch to shut her up. <laughs> now you're nag. He's calling this guy a girl. All right. Uh, so apparently this guy has hit this bloke, which is not good, so that's a possible assault. See, so, uh, let's ask him if he's been injured. Well, kind of, but I'm sure it was my fault. I was probably nagging them again. Alright, so it's never your fault. Uh, there's no excuse to be, be assaulted by somebody else. Uh, just remember that. Uh, uh, do you have somewhere else you can stay? Did they strike you? with a closed or open hand. Well, it's kind of silly, really. They stopped, they stepped on my foot really hard. Oh, wow. All right. Um, you have somewhere else you can stay. Well, I guess the LSPD can pay for a motel if I have to leave. No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, right, well, what I'm gonna say is, look, guys, uh, keep your hands off him. He doesn't obviously want to press any charges so we'll take note of this uh, call out and uh, yeah I'm just gonna end it how do we end it forgot how to end it again uh, how do we end this bitch there we go end call out alright so we're all done with that uh, I'm not gonna do anything further with that it's hey, pretty, pretty silly to be honest I've heard that place has great salmon Thanks for that, asshole. Move, buddy, before I arrest you. Alright, well, that call has been dealt. Let's uh, head back out and uh, resume patrol. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a traffic alert for a kidnapping. Alright, so we're getting reports of a vehicle that's come up at an ANPR hit. Uh, possible kidnapping. Looks like it's just up in front of us, so. Let's use our unmarked vehicle to our advantage and we'll uh, perform a traffic stop. Looks like it's the yeah, directly across from us. So we'll wait and see which way they go. Okay, so they're going right. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 18. Approach with caution. So let's go ahead. He just ran for a stop sign, so that's going to be perfect for us to pull him over. He's giving again us an excuse. And he obviously knows something's up. So we'll wait for this, uh, we'll wait for the light to go, and then uh, we'll push him through. Oh, it looks like he's moving around. Um, okay. Taken off? What's he doing? Well, we might have a possible pursuit here. Ah, oh, he's making a run for it. Ah, oh, guns out! Come on! Right, officer under fire. Where the fuck did he go? All right, let's get some Attention units, units down here. In strawberry. All right, so shots fired. Shots fired. Requesting backup. Code red. Alright, I got one shot off. It's a second shot. Can't see him. Looks like we've got units on site. Wow, this is gonna 
It's gonna be a mad shootout. Oops, sorry, buddy. Right, he's down, he's down. Still up, still up. Alright, he's down, he's down. Wow. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code 4. No further units required. Wow. Alright, so. We may as well. Uh, get the nearby roads closed. I'm gonna uh, set up a, a barricade here. Actually, the roads are gonna be closed anyway, it doesn't really matter. Looks like we've got officers staying on scene, which is good. And did his body. Ah, uh, his body respawned. Ah, uh, despawned. Damn, that's a shame. All right, let's let's run the plate of the uh, vehicle and uh, see who actually was behind it. It's going to be six five Edward Young Boyd five seven four. That's a damn shame. The body despawned. Uh, okay, so it was registered to a Leonardo McCullen. Go ahead and uh, search it. At least the closing the nearby roads has worked because obviously there's no traffic around. Uh, it's pretty much nothing, just a bottle of lager and a bong. No weapons, no drugs or anything like that, so let's get a tow truck out. And there's nothing really much we can do further with this uh, call out, so we're going to end it there. And uh, let's head back and uh, see if we can get some uh, more call outs. Attention, this is dispatch. We have a suspect on the run and Pillbox Hill, respond code 3. Alright, so we're going to assist uh, with this. It's going to be a full pursuit, apparently. Um, we need to respond code 3 to that. Why is it not letting me? There we go. I think that means that there's another officer on scene, maybe chasing him, trying to apprehend him. Alright, so I got one, looks like this is going to be him here, or her, looks like it's going to be a girl. Alright, let's, uh, let's get some we have more units down here to assist in, with this. Uh, pillbox Hill, respond code 3. Ocean 1 in route. Ocean 1, we can get that. Well, we'll see if we can cut her off here. Ah, she doesn't want to ship running the other way. <laughs> right. we'll see if we can just nudge her a little bit. Ah, oh, didn't mean to run over her. Ma'am, hands up. Hands on your head and on the ground. Otherwise I'll tase you. Good. So she's complying with that. Let's go ahead and arrest her. I can't see the other officer. Um, I don't know exactly who was chasing her, but it doesn't matter. Ashley McFarlane. Miss McFarlane, go ahead and sit right here. What were you getting chased for? I have no idea. Uh, let's just run your name and make sure everything checks out. Is it going to come up with her name? No, it's not. Uh, Ashley McFarlane. I think if I... Let's, let's search her first. What you working into me for? See if she's got anything. Uh, Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. We've no. got an officer requiring assistance. It's an iPhone in on her. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do a records check uh, this way. 
violent, violent crimes. She has prior convictions for violent crimes. Uh, so that's pro probably why she was being chased, but I don't I don't know why she was being chased. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and call for a prison transport. And they can come pick her up, take her back to the station. And deal with her. And, you know, further investigate whatever the heck needed to be investigated. But with that call out uh, ending, I am also going to end this episode. So thank you guys for uh, watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying the Victorian series so far, and I will see you uh, soon in another video.